from Miles with Wicked Edge, and you're probably watching this video because you just purchased a Wii 64 Cobalt Knife Sharpener. Now, your Wii 64 Sharpener is going to come with the sharpener itself, which is blue base, this graduation plate with angle markings, two angle slides with locking thumb screws on top, and a pivot retention screw on the side here that holds in this very important little plastic ball, which makes sure the actual pivot points don't fall out your dual cam vise with locking lever and removable jaws. This also includes a C-clamp to mount to any work surface of your choosing, a pack of Wicked Edge paperboard shims to protect your knives or help clamp unusual blade shapes, some indexing tools such as the depth key and the alignment guide, two guide rods as well as some rubber guide rod shields and O-rings to hold them in place that prevent sharpener debris from getting into your guide rod pivot, a practice knife, practice your sharpening on and breaking your diamond stones with. Last but very much not least, two sets of diamond abrasive handles with a 200 grit and a 600 grit diamond stone installed on each. There are three ways to secure your sharpener for sharpening. You can use the included C-clamp to clamp it to any work surface along this front flange of the sharpener, or you can use the screw holes in this front flange to attach it to one of our optional aluminum bases, or you can mount it through those same screw holes to any work surface of your choosing, be this a base of your own manufacturer or a bench top. To begin with setup, we're first going to install our guide rods. To do so, make sure that your angle slide is slid out as wide as it'll go to 30 degrees. This will just help give you a little extra space and then remove the pivot tension screw on the inside of this angle slide. You don't actually have to pull it all the way out. You just have to loosen it enough so that you can remove this little plastic ball. I'm then going to set this aside, but I want to hang on to it as it's important to keep because it holds in the little pivot race that holds this guide rod. Next, I'm going to take the ball end of this guide rod, set it where that little plastic ball was, and tighten down my pivot tension screw until this guide rod will stand up on its own like so. I will then repeat the process on the other side of my sharpener. Next, I'm going to install my guide rod pivot shields. To do this, I'm going to take two O-rings and put one on each guide rod. Now, you don't have to do this at the same time. I just like challenging myself. You're going to slide these down until they're just above that bottom. Again, on the other side. These are a little bit of a challenge. And then, you're going to take your guide rod shields and just slide them down so they sit on top of those O-rings. Then you're gonna take another set of O-rings and just slide them down so they are on top of that guide rod. Shield and hold it in place. That's it for basic setup. Keep watching for some safety tips and then we'll get into how to actually sharpen a blade.